2023 is already shaping up to be a huge mess for Ford. Several F-150 Lightnings went up in flames. The Bronco seems to have a new recall every few weeks, and new Ford trucks are just sitting on dealer lots as long as 746 days. Ford dealers are in big trouble, and CEO Jim Farley seems to be in complete denial that anything is actually going wrong. <laughs> In 2022, Ford managed a staggering $2 billion loss due to their electric vehicle investments in the Ford Lightning and the Mustang Mach-E. For 2023, it seems to be on track to lose even more. Experts are predicting that Ford will lose over $3 billion on its EV investments in 2023. Despite these massive losses, Farley still managed to pay himself a staggering $21 million salary in 2022. Jim Farley went all in on EV trucks, raised prices on every F-150 and SUV over the past three years, and let dealers get away with high markups, all while using supply constraints as a seemingly forever ongoing issue, which we all know is total BS at this point. Now, in 2023, it's all starting to crash down in a huge way, and Ford dealerships are already feeling the pain. Over the past few weeks, I've been to Ford dealerships from Boise, Idaho, through Salt Lake City, Utah, and all the way down into Texas. No matter where I go to check out the truck inventory and prices, the story seems to be the same. MSRP on Ford trucks just keeps going up, dealer lots are staying full, Ford trucks are not selling and quality just keeps going down. This damage may cause the steering gear to increase steering efforts or completely lock up. And then of course you lose control of the vehicle, which may result in a crash. Despite all the chaos at the dealer level, Ford's problems begin much sooner up the sales pipeline. For the second year in a row, Ford has led the industry when it comes to recalls. Nearly 100,000 Maverick pickup trucks have been recalled due to fire risk. The Ford F-150 Lightning has over 2,000 recalls for tire pressure monitoring systems. Over 25,000 Ford Broncos were recalled due to the potential for catastrophic engine failure. And the big moneymaker F-150 has had recalls for bad steering columns, software errors, safety issues, and even transmission problems. These endless issues all stem from poor quality control during parts manufacturing and on the assembly line that Henry Ford made famous back in 1913. The Ford F-150 is built in one of two places, the Dearborn, Michigan plant close to Ford headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri. While these plants have been operating for years, it seems like some of the people who work there are just not as dedicated to perfection as they used to be. You can blame this on part shortages, manufacturing errors, or even human mistakes, which do seem to be a large contributing factor. But what it really boils down to is poor leadership that puts profits first and people last. When you try to rush production, cut worker pay, give CEOs insane bonuses, and turn a blind eye to the problems Ford vehicles are having, this eventually passes down to the consumer and wastes massive amounts of their time, money, and energy. Eventually, these problems lead even the most loyal Ford fan to find more reliable options when it comes to choosing their next pickup truck. When you charge an average price of over $60,000 for an F-150, people expect close to perfect, but what we're actually getting is worth about half that. You can't just keep increasing your prices when quality goes down. This leads us to the next bad decision that Ford CEO has made in recent years. When the F-150 first came out, it was a simple work truck. Now it's a complicated luxury vehicle that the average American worker just can't justify spending their hard-earned money on. This was not really a huge issue when Ford had other more affordable options if a fancy overpriced truck was out of your budget. Just a few years ago, you could grab a new Ford Fiesta for under $16,000, a Ford Focus for around $20,000, and back in 2018, the starting MSRP of an F-150 XLT was only $34,000. $795. Now, in 2023, all of the cheap Ford cars are totally gone. And that same F-150 XLT is going to cost you over $56,000 by the time it hits the dealership lot. Ford dealers decided to price gouge customers with huge markups, and Ford corporate raised the prices to increase profits. If you go to any Ford dealership right now, you'll quickly notice that most of the trucks are higher trim levels, costing you well over $60,000. Due to these insanely high prices and increasing interest rates, it creates the perfect storm. All you have to do is walk around the Ford dealer lot and let the reality of this situation hit you straight in the face. So we're back at Boise, Idaho in the Ford dealership that just two months ago I was at in February and they were still stacked full of F-150s, 250s, 350s, all of that stuff. And now that we're back two months later and look at this, this entire row right here is stacked full of Ford F-150s. You look all the way over here and we've got an entire row all the way here and this row goes all the way back basically as far as the eye can see and of course if you look back here there's more trucks 
way back there. And if you go even further, there's more trucks way back there on that side of the lot. But that's not all of the trucks. Let me show you something else. As I walk through this little truck gap right here, you have an entire row of Ford F-150s as far as the eye can see. A couple here on the left. And of course, an entire other row of F-150s right here as well. And as you can see, Ford is just stacked with trucks that they can't sell and they just keep sending them in. And let me show you one of the big reasons why these trucks are not selling. Once you look at the window sticker, it becomes pretty clear. We have a nice gray F-150 XLT here. 2023 4x4 Super Crew. Base price of 53,000. Total options adding up to over $10,000. Looks like they removed the Chrome Sport package or whatever that is. But the MSRP is $63,155. And that's just for a cheaper XLT model. If you take a look at this F-150 trimmer right here, it gets nuts. You've got a 2023 4x4 F-150 Super Crew trimmer series. Base MSRP of $61,000 with $11,000 in options plus destination and delivery for a whopping $74,655. And as I walk down this row of Ford F-150 pickup trucks, the story just continues. $62,766, 63435 This another looks like trimmer here, $71,995. Another F-150 XLT. Oh, hey, look at that, $57,985. It looks like we finally found an F-150 that is under 60 grand. 2023 4x4 Super Crew, MSRP of 50, still has $9,600 in options. It looks like there's a couple of savings discounts. You got four grand worth of savings. I'm um, not sure specifically what it's for, but it says $59,790 on the sticker. And here's what's cool. These dealerships are finally realizing they have to do massive discounts to get these off the sales floor. So let me show you here. They're doing a discount of $1,795, bringing it down to $57,995. But as you can see, even with these discounts, $2,000 really isn't that much. Sure, it helps. It brings it under $60,000 to something a little bit more reasonable, but honestly, nobody still wants to buy at these prices. Combine that with an 8% interest rate on a new vehicle with good credit. Imagine if you have poor credit and you're trying to get in a truck like this, you're probably gonna have to finance it for like seven, eight years just to get your payment down to a reasonable level. And I think we're gonna continue to see just stacks and stacks of these F-150s just all over dealerships for quite a long time. Now, I just found a couple of the F-150 Lightnings, and I think these have been sitting here for a while. I'll go online and double check, but I wanna show you why these trucks, which basically aren't trucks and can't tow anything, uh, why they're not selling either. Got a really nice white F-150 Platinum Lightning. MSRP of $99,719 for our 2023 four-wheel drive and then we've got another white one over here this one is the pro trim level and this actually gets a little bit cheaper got a 2023 f-150 lightning 4x4 super crew base price of fifty-five thousand dollars, about six thousand dollars in manufacturer installed options destination and delivery for an msrp of sixty four thousand nine dollars now that's a huge difference and this is supposed to be like the work version of the ford f-150 lightning and this is in line with more of the rest of the prices of like the f-150 xlts with you know the regular engine and everything so as far as like cheaper lightnings go this one's kind of getting on a level to where it might be worth spending the price to experiment with a little bit. But of course, if you're looking to tow anything at all, you're not going to want to get a Lightning. You might want to grab a Super Duty over there. Now, as I walk around this Ford dealership, I will say that I don't see any dealer added things. You know, usually if you look next to the MSRP uh, factory window sticker, there'll be a little sticker to like the left or right side of it with dealer add-ons. And I will say one good thing is you're starting to see a couple grand worth of discounts on some of these stickers, and then you're also not seeing stickers with dealer added things. And while they are adding some discounts, I think these trucks are still gonna just be sitting here until interest rates come down because with these prices, people just can't afford it and they're choosing other things like feeding their family and paying their mortgage and paying their rent above buying a new pickup truck. Here's something that totally blew my mind when I saw it. Got a nice new Ford Expedition, platinum trim level right here. Got a 2023 Expedition Platinum Max 4x4. All the options and everything. We got a 
base price at a whopping $86,000. Only $1,500 in options because it's full of options. Destination and delivery, $1,800 for a total MSRP of $90,100. $90,100 for a Ford Expedition is kind of totally nuts. And I thought just the truck prices were insane. While this is very, very nice, I would definitely not pay $90,000 for a Ford Expedition. Here's something pretty interesting that I noticed. While I'm walking around here, I see all these F-150s, but I don't see any Ford Broncos, un basically none whatsoever, and I don't see any Ford Rangers. It's like Ford just went totally insane on their F-150s. But I did see something. You got a bunch of little baby Broncos lined up all along this row here, and you can actually get away with one out the door. Got a Bronco Sport for $34,890. And it's what's supposed to be a little cool um, heritage edition. So if you like the baby Broncos, you can get one of these all day long in the 30s. Ford CEO has taken huge risks by going all in on EVs, getting rid of their lower priced cars, increasing the MSRP of their trucks to unaffordable levels, and heading up the worst reliability record in recent Ford history. If Ford wants to continue to become a top competitor in the marketplace, they are going to have to fix all of the major recall issues currently destroying the brand's reputation and start coming down on these high MSRP prices. Americans are holding on to their money, and we're just not going to buy these overpriced, poorly built trucks any longer. Congratulations, you made it to the end of this video. And if you thought it was informative and entertaining and whatever else, please smash the crap out of that like button. Just give it a gentle tap. If you want to hear more automotive news, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications and I'll see you tomorrow.